is now that part of the program when we shall <laughs> So, just totally trying this. This is, this is, uh, and, uh, let's see. Let's see if this works. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing, um, what you're seeing over here. I have not uploaded anything to my channel in, I believe, exactly 44 days, if I counted right. And a lot of that has to do with editing. That said, I've got a backlog of toys that I've been wanting to unbox and that I haven't even been able to uh, enjoy. And so today, I guess for the holidays, for this sort of like first attempt at a live stream, I'm going to be looking at, at these two figures. Figure Obscura uh, by the Four Horsemen, Four Horsemen Studios. We are uh, going to be opening these guys. Hey, let's just sort of say hi. Uh, thank you so much to Dom and to... Um, Ostradamus uh, for supporting me while I figure this out. Awesome to have 16-bit misfit. Uh, all right, hold on. We got a, a someone who wants to help me out. I appreciate that. What's up, everybody? Ostradamus Toys coming live from the road right now on the hunt. Uh, yeah. But I wanted to pop in and join Brick for a moment here and say, what's up, everybody? Good to see you. What up? What's up, Oz? Oz and I were up uh, <laughs> last night talking about this. He was, you know, gassing me up, trying to to convince me that this is something I should do um, yes. and help me out. Well, I appreciate you jumping in for that support. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and unbox these. Cause, uh, Let's do it, man. Let's do yeah, it. Blow right it up. on. Full screen. All right. Let's figure this out. I switch you out here. All right. So... Let's talk figure obscura. Uh, as Dom's pointed out, um, there's definitely been a lot of division with this figure. Um, that's this this one in particular. Um, for for whatever reason, this was the first uh, figure obscura that came out. And if you're not familiar, uh, the Four Horsemen Studios have their line, Mythic Legions, which I'm a huge fan of. They do awesome creatures like this. I don't know. How about this? Vampires, right? Grr. <laughs> Muy macho, right? Like, yeah, we've got the these vicious creatures ready to fight. We've got buff little dudes, little wrestler vargs. Um, <laughs> so just to give you a sense of what the horsemen usually do and i think that leads to a little bit about what um dom is pointing out this is the one that you and i were messing with right using this mcfarland head but yeah. they do humans too they do humans and so this is sort of what the four horsemen are usually doing in their main line which is mythic legions uh where oz and i along with sean uh justin and eldor uh, do a sort of like a Mythic Legions 101 class that we're calling Legions 101. And that comes up. I think we're going to do that again in 2023 in January. Yeah, that's so the they're next. usually, yep. So this is what they usually do. They do Mythic Legions, kind of this sword sorcery fantasy, high magic creatures, giant horse people. You know, Dom was saying there's been some divisions. They announced this, I believe it was December 5th, 2021. They said, surprise, happy holidays. We're doing this thing. We are taking a little bit of a pause on Mythic Legions, and we're going to give you this new line that we're calling Figure Obscura. This line here, right, with the full-on logo. And they were going to do this guy, the Headless Horseman. I believe he wasn't quite ready. So they ended up releasing Krampus in the holiday season. They weren't ready for that Halloween release. And... The first one was this character, which I'll open up in a little bit. But as you can probably guess, and if you're familiar with this sort of um, lore of Krampus, uh, he is this sort of, uh, you know, ram uh, horn, devilish looking, and I say devilish looking creature um, who looks for uh, naughty children uh, during the, the holiday season. So if you think about 
this face and you think about some of these other characters, you're like, oh yeah, I totally get it. That's that's that makes sense for the four horsemen. That's what they do. And then they did the headless horseman that they finally released in 2022 a couple months ago. Again, surprise, they didn't warn anyone, they didn't let anyone know this was coming. And you know, people are like, yeah, awesome. You know, headless, look, head meat, rad. Stump. You know, and I get it. <laughs> and so it was like, I think people got in their minds because of what they do with Mythic Legions, the sword, sorcery, magic, swords, yada, yada. And then the beast that was Krampus and then the Headless Horseman that, you know, oh, I guess that's what they do. Then they announced Father Christmas. There was hints that it was going to be a Santa. Everyone assumed, oh, man, yep. it's, it's going to be Santa with a sword. They, they thought it was going to be buff Santa. They thought it was going to be barbarian Santa. They thought it was Santa with an axe. But that's not what they ended up with. Let's go ahead and actually open them. And I'm going to sort of open them in uh, reverse chronological order. This was the first one that came out. I didn't get this till actually the summer. Definitely paid way too much, but... You gotta tell you, you've been paying way too much. Like Mythic Legions get like if you really want it in your collection, it is worth every penny you spend on them. I 100 percent agree. Yeah, these things, man, just have so much craft. It's a work of art. Straight, so, um, straight from the packaging, all the way through to the actual sculpts on the figures themselves. I mean, when you talk about toy craftsmanship and you talk about works of art. That's mythic legions, cosmic legions, and just just about anything the four horsemen touch. They don't they don't hold back. You know, like they go all out. The packaging uh, all the way. One hundred percent. Yeah, if you take a look at this packaging, which I kind of already bent. Um just the artwork, right? Nate Barch, uh sort of their go to artist illustrator. Also handles a lot of the Masters of the Universe stuff. Um, does this amazing portrait of Father Christmas. There's so much about this release that I think just caught people by surprise because it's a, it's a little softer. It's a little warmer. It's a little fuzzier. It's Santa. I mean, look at this. It's gorgeous sort of pastoral-like scene. It, it's beautiful. Take a look at this fool in box. What's up, Ken? Just a shout out, folks. We got uh, Ray Ray. Como esta? Uh, como esta to uh, my folks in the Philippines? Como esta to my Filipino folks in Canada? Uh, let's see. Perfect sick day viewing. Ian, hoping you're doing okay. This folks saying hello, Nolan. Whoops. Oz got kicked off. But yes, you go handle you. Um, surprise figures means Dom is passing. Budget was not prepared. See, that right there is the sign of a responsible toy collector. I, I love Dom. I love what he does. I love the way he kind of talks about playing and uh, doing his thing, figuring out how to play with children. So, so I appreciate that. I appreciate that you actually have a budget. Let's see, catch up a little bit more. Cool, cool, cool. Folks saying hi. I love it. I love this little crew. Folks saying hi. Awesome. Okay. Good stuff. Hey, I'm going to try and do this as fast as I can. Sorry if I don't go into super detail because I'm going to assume that you all have probably seen others do this elsewhere. This is not a new figure. This is by no means an exclusive. This is Rick something being way too busy at work around this part of the year and has a pileup. And even though I roll hard for Legions and the Horsemen, and I love their stuff, I don't always get to open things up on time. Take a look at this stuff. Oh, I'm familiar with it. The soft goods are off the hook um, by, again, some couple by on C. Jessam, the, the team that is C. Jessam. Okay, again, I am not a thorough unboxing review channel. There are plenty of awesome folks who will do that for this figure in particular. Please check out Dork Lair. Please check out Toy Bro. Um, who else? I think The Amazing did it too. Like they're super thorough. They're awesome. Guess what? I love this stuff, but we don't need to see everything. So again, to go back to what Dom was saying, 
I think there are a lot of folks who who have this uh, something stuck in their minds that four horsemen are going to give them muy macho characters, right? Like all the time, ready, fierce, ready to battle. And that's not a diss. I'm not trying to yuck your yum if you want awesome battles, because guess what? I like that stuff, too. I do. Um, if you take a look at my shelf, I've got pretty much everyone's ready for some sort of battle. But not everyone has to look a certain way. Not every character has to look gigantic or buff. Um, the body on here is exactly like what they would usually do for um, some of the smaller characters, including women. And so if you take a look, it's the exact same armor. Just repainted, reused. Right, no difference. Same leg, same thigh pieces, um, different. Uh, what do you call it? Loincloth. If you take a look at what's going on here, it's the same, but all done in this sort of pretty plain brown, plain dark gray, gunmetal gray, but covered in this lush, just amazing soft goods. So as far as a quote unquote controversy or divisiveness of this figure, I don't know what to tell you. I, I love this. It, I just love the variety that, that the horsemen continue to give us in terms of toys, man. I, I, I love variety. I love having different options on my shelf. I love seeing a giant half horse being. I love seeing a tiny squat um, bat creature. I love this sort of like satyr fawn thing i appreciate that and the fact that we could you know take a step back a little bit and they opted to give us a santa that was a little bit thinner um and a little less buffy i, I i'm here for it i appreciate this figure i am loving what i'm seeing just like everyone has said i haven't had this in hand yet so i'm tripping on this material and how it kind of translates part of me was wondering if it would look a little um, cheesy and uh, but it, it's pretty well tailored for this character um, and this fur is just amazing and there's wire here right so if you want to get dynamic I guess with the poses um, I was wondering again I was trying to think of like what is this thing called that little thing and I appreciate Ian for breaking it down this is officially called a flappy do I believe that's a European term. Um, you know, you gotta, can't go out without your flappy do adjusted properly. All right, standard sort of, again, legions, 2.0 body. Okay. All that said, man, uh, I've adjusted his flappy do. Agreed. Fantastic figure. That's Santa. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Man, I said I wouldn't take you through every little thing, but this is just gorgeous. The four horsemen. I mean, these, these folks, they're artists. That is the cutest thing ever. And guess what? Mythic Legions need some cute. Figure Obscura does cute. Get used to it. All right. Then you've got this thing. Wow. And so you just let it hang. And you can remove it to make that awesome staff as well come on now i don't know i'm 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 babbling a little bit but listen there's not a whole lot to complain about here as far as i'm concerned there's just a whole lot of joy to be had they do fill you with all sorts of parts so if for whatever reason you're like i don't like the way he looked well you know what four horsemen got you they're like, nah, you're not feeling his beard. You think he needs a trim. There's a different head. And I'm, you know, already thinking about like, oh, what could I do with this head? I've got two. One with a shorter beard, one with a longer beard. Who could this character be? Just amazing. Look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Look at him with his slick back hair. Oh well quaffed well played there father christmas do, 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 do. and uh, oh yeah actually ian says 
do, 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 do. <laughs> come on sorry if i yell in your ears but come on now you're like oh that looks weird yeah well it's wired see jessam got you four horsemen got you 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 pose it the way you want I do want to acknowledge uh, real quick some of the stuff on the ch on the chat. I, um, soft goods, Four Horsemen definitely don't have corner on the market of great soft goods. E and J saying he got the Mezco side cutter last night between Santa and him. That's two amazing soft goods character. That character is amazing. It's like straight up uh, Crypt Keeper meets Walt Disney's Haunted Mansion. Yeah, love it. And earlier I was trying to think of the word to kind of uh, address certain behaviors on the part of some fans. And 16-Bit Misfit got me. Uh, curmudgeon, that was the word I was looking for. Absolutely, that works. Um, let's talk about Santa here. 16-Bit uh, Misfit's in, yeah, not really. It's a nice figure, it doesn't really fit in my collection, but I can appreciate the craftsmanship that went into the design, sculpt, paint, accessories, 100%. And what you just did there, 16 bit misfit, um, is a world of difference from, oh man, where's my barbarian Santa? I want my barbarian Santa. Yeah, what 16 bit misfit did there is, uh, is, is thoughtful, is appreciative, is acknowledging the work that went into here while saying, yeah, not for me, 100%, not for everyone. Uh, Daz, thank you so much for jumping on this. I really am super appreciative of everyone on here. Um, and yes, in fact, I was undressing Santa. Um, what can I say? I'm kind of curious to see what homie's got going on. So, um, you know, it's cool. Oops, what do we got here? I'm gonna buy a skeleton guy to make a death Santa for sure. Let's, let's consider this notion of a death Santa. Have you been naughty? And it absolutely is. It's okay for grown men, young boys, folks everywhere on the spectrum to play with dolls. And I actually would add to that. It's not okay. Um, it is absolutely important. Um, I'm with Dom and sort of the way Dom kind of breaks down the importance of play on his channel. We all need to play. Uh, playing is an important part of development. Playing is an important part of de-stressing. Um, playing is a, a, an important part to get certain ideas out, right? You know, like, listen, look at me with all these sort of like figures, these creatures, these monstrous creatures that potentially will suck your blood or turn you into the undead. Um, guess what? If you get to know me in real life, I don't actually cut people's heads off. I don't want to hurt you in any way, but I can play. I can pretend and get those ideas out of my system and do what ifs and that's fun. And 100% 16-bit um, Mythic Legions, Figure Obscura, and soon to be Cosmic Legions. It's all about the pop and swap. Um, I am a Lego fan. If I could take you back here for a second. I am a huge, 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 huge Lego fan. And there is something about this toy, Mythic Legions Figure Obscure, that basically takes my Lego brain and my childhood action figure brain that used to play with Kenner Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, Masters of the Universe, you name it. And it merges. So it's the Lego merged with the action figure and uh, you get this. You get to customize your characters, like build your world, play, get a little dangerous, do the fantasy, do the monsters, do the fighting, do the Santa Claus who's going to turn into a skeleton and um, but get it out of your system, play, imagine, have fun, think of new stories, and then don't hurt other people. And maybe don't be a curmudgeon online. Y'all need to play. Okay, that said, let's move on. This is Santa. 
my skull Santa. Moving on. Um, and I agree. And customization is the way to go. And Daz knows something about that. Because if you want to see someone put together a world from scratch out of glue and foam, you need to be checking out Daz, uh, Dazatron's Diorama Llama channel. Um, I have been wanting to get into that. I just don't have the same the workspace at the moment. But, uh, but yes, check out his channel. I want to move on to Krampus. Yeah, ready for Krampus? Oh, yeah. Oh, psh. come on, Daz. I got to say, like right now, there are folks that have joined this live that um, most of you know me because I've probably been on your channel commenting and appreciating the stuff you do. Daz is one of them. Oz is one of them. Ken Toy Connections is one of them. Uh, Masterversal Toy Hunter, who just joined us, um, is one of them. These are folks who whose channels I love, Dom, right? Um, Toy Domination, just like those guys' channel, great. And so absolutely, get the shout out because um, y'all deserve it. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this. Like I, I was inspired. And you know, that's for another time. Oh. Uh, but I'll just say that if it wasn't for you all and the work that you were doing and the content that you were creating, um, the lockdown that we experienced uh, and the reality that I was uh, sort of living under would have been even rougher than it was. So I, I am super grateful to the toy community, to the geek community online that just helped me stay straight, you know, and it helped me um, realize the joy. It's you all. The Dan Larsons of the world, the uh, Jay Gladfelters of the world, and, and Stu um, Levick, and man, who else? Toy Bro, Jared, like Dork Lair, like it's all you who uh, reminded me, like, it's okay. Things are rough, but remember to play. Remember when you used to just be a child and smile and be happy. And so. I absolutely appreciate y'all, and and um, and now I'm basically emulating y'all. Yup, yup, yup. Eldor in the house. Uh, Duchess, thank you so much for jumping on. Great to see you. As far as this community goes, of me sort of sharing my appreciation. Um, Oz is 100% right, right? Here I am thinking about toys, watching these videos, but now we're all playing together, right? We're all just hanging out and being like, did you get this figure? What'd you think of this figure? Did you see so-and-so be curmudgeonly? Uh, can you believe X, Y, Z? How angry are you about the latest HasLab? Whatever it is, right? We're socializing, we're building, we're connecting, we're having a hard time undoing twist tie, but we're doing it together. And it's it's that much more fun. And yes, indeed it is. And believe it or not, I'm still doing them because oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sorry, I have seen this figure so many times and I gotta change the music look at that tongue I will say missed opportunity we've got these hands but we don't have these hands okay sorry dork um but again, that's what we do, right? We loosen up, we're playing. Wow. As I was saying earlier, I have seen this figure so many times and I have never had him in my hand. He's been sitting uh, in different closets, in different spaces actually, since uh, June or July, I wanna say. 
Um, and oh, look at that. It's not even one piece. Of course it would. That's how a lot of their heads work. But, but you know, he's got this sort of collar piece, this furry collar piece, if you will. And then he's got this head separately so he can fully move, do that thing. But actually, I got to do the Linda Blair. Okay. Um, all right. What else? Um, there's an issue here. So this can break. And I've heard this. Will I do it? There's a danger of that breaking out. So I'm not going to do it. I want to show you. I'll do it later when I can warm it up. But look at that. Oh, but if I could do it, look how much more amazing that would be. Have you not opened this figure since June? That's willpower right there. Thank you very much. Um, it is. It was a, a matter of willpower. Um, part of it was I kept telling myself, I'm going to review this one day. Um, and I'll do an unboxing. And that day has come. And frankly, editing takes time. So this whole live stream thing, I'm kind of, I, I see the value. Krampus is a complex character. He's got a softer side. He's misunderstood. People judge him because he looks like what they assume is Satan or their, this, this notion of Satan. Um, but you know what? No, he's just doing his job. He's got a role to play. And, you know, uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Because if you're not good for goodness sake, uh, Krampus is who gets sent out to take care of the naughty kids. So if you are being curmudgeonly on the cabal or in social media or in life in general, uh, you might not get visited by Santa, but instead, Krampus may have to come and take care of you. And so what does Krampus do? What does Krampus do to the naughty children and peoples? We're about to find out. First off, he's got a broom. I don't know if Ray Ray's still here, but he's got a walis ting ting, or he's got his own walis, his broom. Uh, it's a little rougher. Just It just looks very cool. Uh, Ian said, would be cool to customize the red body with black fringe and black head. Put the Krampus head on the Santa body. Uh, yeah, let's play. Pop and swap. Um, oh man, that, that's just slaytanic. Let me just compare another staff wielding goat-like creature. This is uh, Krotos from the, uh, oh my god, I'm blanking, Alithia Wave? Alithia? Yeah, Alithia Wave. Am I buff enough for you now? Uh, there you go. By the way, have you hit that like button today? Have you been naughty or nice? Are you subscribed to break something? Because if not, you might be considered naughty. If you are not on Father Christmas's list, then perhaps you're on Krampus's. And if you're on Krampus's list, well, if you've been naughty, he might put you in his basket. So you might be wondering, how did he, he get the kids in there? Apparently he chops them up first and um, places them in. So, <laughs> This is the surprise that came with Krampus. Two skulls, and not just any skulls, because again, it's Mythic Legions compatible. It is the Four Horsemen. They are smart cookies, and they know that we who play with their toys love to pop and swap. And they give us parts to do so. They want us to play with their toys and they want to give us the parts to do so. Merry holidays. Merry X-Men. 
they said. Merry X-Men. Here are some parts. Play well, children. Which is a Lego reference. Play well. Legot. And to help promote that, we're going to give you some extra stuff. Ah, this is the articulated jaw one. Look at these. Just the sculpt. If I could take a moment to geek out. Gorgeous. Yeah, I'm just constantly in awe of what this company produces. But hey, you know, naughty kids have other body parts. So we got hands, skull hands. Oh, what did this kid do? Oof. Yeah, so that's what we get. Um, Daz, Transformers Collector. Uh, yeah, with Hasbro's pricing shooting up, these figures are looking far better value for the money. Um, yeah, you know what? Thank you for naming that. Um, this is something that that we kind of broke down, Oz and, and um, Justin and Sean. We do Legion's class. And one of the, the very first sort of kickoff thing that we did, we talked about the myth, pun intended, of that mythic legions are just ridiculously expensive and out of reach. Um, it's a myth because sure, part of that is true in the sense that uh, if you are getting them on the secondary market, um, these things can be intense. Some of these other figures, like when they come out and they're on the secondary market, they can be spendy, but if you get them when they are available from the start, um, you can get them for as low as $34 for the most current wave if you end up going all in, which I know is kind of um, intense. If you don't go all in, it's $37 for a fig. $37, $45 if you were to go to a retailer, not the Four Horsemen, um, after the Four Horsemen's pre-order period is done. So again, $37, I know. It's a lot of money actually let them to be real like you can buy groceries with that you can um you know pay for bills get it but when you look at the prices as you're pointing out with transformers um with marvel legends uh going up with masters of the universe stuff going up the question of getting legions and them being expensive if you really look at what's going on not it's not exactly as intense as people have been saying. Um, like I said, you can pre-order uh, a regular Legion's figure for $37, or you can get the new Attorney of Beastman. It's $40 and 49 cents, I wanna say, at my local targets, Hordak, uh, full price is like $32.99 or something, $32.49, $32.99. I'd argue that these are much better. Um, those skulls are a nice touch from the Krampus, 100%. Horsemen doing their thing. Oh, dear, what? It pays to be a rather good boy or girl. Yep, uh, you don't want to be a, a, a skull. As Daz points out, secondary market is insane for most figures. Has Labs Victory Savers going for double the retail? Yes. Um, Legions, definitely. It is true, though, that they do tend to, to shoot up there because a lot of those, especially the stuff from the, the earliest waves that... Um, where they didn't produce much and it, it it just wasn't a huge line the way it is now they just um yeah understandably there's a smaller stock out there and not many people have them so they sell but yes if you take a look at everything you're getting with these it's it's um very different so actually let's do a quick comparison so i want to do a bonus um and since we're all talking about other figures at the moment we need a naughty or nice child. Eternals. Sprites. Um, doomed to be in the body of a child. I'm just wondering. Uh, I wonder. I don't know what you think. that work? Ooh, that was a, that. This is how you customize right here. Look at that. Man. Should have a YouTube channel. 
Um, what you think? Too much? I think... Um, <laughs> I think that's probably a great way to end it. Thank you all so much for sticking through that. I really appreciate you joining me on this impromptu adventure. I had a great time for my sort of first time. There were some other things I was hoping to do, have like an intro sequence, and, um, but you know, time. Thank you all so much. As the uh, banner says at the bottom, this is absolutely a labor of love um, for geeks by geeks. I appreciate all of you for sort of hanging in and joining me on this and checking out other stuff on the channel. Um, thank you so much to Oz in particular, who really kind of helped me get this together last night. Um, and then, of course, thank you to Ken for getting me uh, started really on a live stream and scheduling me on my first live stream. And highly articulated um, Adam for also helping me out and get this stuff figured out. Um, I hope everyone has a happy Christmas, as I believe you might be saying uh, in your neck of the woods. Um, thank you so much, Eldor. I'm super glad that you were able to catch the live as well. Um, it was awesome to hang out, y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ian. I hope you're feeling better, man. You get rest. Thank you all so much. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And if I end up seeing you later and highly articulated, cool. If you're enjoying the channel, please consider liking and subscribing the video. It definitely helps out and I'm trying to grow this thing. And if you're looking for even more of a toy fix right now, see the link to the left to follow a fellow member of the Legion of Lesser Toy Tubers. And until next time, peace and power. Uh.